Hello again, Gary Stearman with another Prophecy in the News daily update. It is the 30th of August. It is a Thursday, and we have a special guest in studio today. You know him. You've heard him talk before. His name is Avi Lipkin. He is an expert on things happening in the Middle East. Hi, Avi. How are you? Always great to be here. It's always great. You're, you're on a, a quick dash through Oklahoma City, and we were lucky enough to have you here today. Uh, you've got a bit of news out of the Middle East that concerns your son, Aaron. And by the way, we've had uh, Aaron on Prophecy in the News with us in the past. Correct. Yes, indeed. Uh, my son, Aaron, uh, has been a blessing, uh, I think, very, very much, not only to me, but to Israel and to the, to the Christian world. Uh, we started, my son and I started Lipkin Tours together two years ago. And what has happened is that my son, who was exposed to what is the American Christian, and that he understands that the American Christians are not like what we saw in Russia and in Catholic Europe, where we were slaughtered and persecuted, and indeed the white Anglo-Saxon Protestant America uh, has been a blessing to the Jews, has never been a curse, has always been a blessing. And there is a gentleman by the name of Tommy Waller, and his organization is called Jubilee, or Hayovel. Mm -hmm. And my son, as part of our tourism company, has now uh, begun to give them services of airline tickets and ground accommodations and also opening doors uh, for these people to come and stay in Israel for three months and mm -hmm. volunteer. And uh, they don't come just to, you know, to do the Via Dolorosa tour. You know, they come to live in Israel, to live alongside the Jewish people, and their witness to the Jewish people is helping in the harvest. And I might add, when he, when he says the Jewish people, he means peop the people of the land, the people out there uh, working the land, the pioneers, the settlers, right? Right. And it says in Scripture that the different nations of the world are going to come to Israel and work alongside the Israelites, the, Israel the Israelis. So what has happened is uh, that the first group arrived today in Israel for this year's, uh, they come for the grape harvest, and uh, they help pick grapes in the Jewish uh, orchards or vineyards. And um, we were having problems with certain bureaucrats in the Ministry of the Interior. And my son basically at the very last minute, we saw that nothing, everything was stonewalled by the Ministry of the Interior. And anybody watching this show knows that we, there are great problems today for Christians to receive visas. And so my son went to Prime Minister Netanyahu's office, and uh, the Prime Minister got involved, and these uh, 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 visas were just approved. Today, the first group arrived. So my son also started, and we spoke about this here on mm -hmm. uh, Prophecy in the News, my son started putting together uh, a board of rabbis, Orthodox rabbis, who love the Christians. And understand that the, these American volunteers who are coming are our brothers and sisters. They are our allies. They're not, Christians are not the enemy anymore. So Rabbi Avi Gisser of uh, Ofra, this happened today. Uh, Rabbi Gisser of Ofra went to uh, visit with the, the first contingent that arrived. And my son and my daughter-in-law went to harvest the grapes with them. And the rabbi shows up. And he goes over to Tommy Waller, head of the group, Christian guy. This Orthodox Jewish rabbi goes over to this Christian guy, hugs him, kisses him, blesses him, and then starts singing to him with the tune that the rabbi uses, Psalm 126. Mm -hmm. You know, the Shira Malot, oh, yes. the, the Song of the, the Ascent. Song of the Ascent. And that's, a, by the way, a beautiful psalm, and it speaks of uh, when the people are back in the land and the things that they will do. And we were as if, as if we were dreaming. And, and yeah. then it says, those who sow the ground with sweat and tears will reap with great joy. And so you know what happened when the rabbi started singing? The Christian group sang the exact same Psalm 126 with the tune that they were used to singing. Ah. And it was so emotional. And uh, so my son, was, he said it was one of the happiest days of his life today to see the love that the rabbi showed to these Christians. And of course, we know the love that these Christians show for Israel. And, and by the way, your testimony, the, the, the thing that Avi has just now spoken of is my heart. Because here at Prophecy of the News, we are pro-Israel. We understand that prophecy says that Israel is coming back into the land in a big way in the last days. They are headed uh, for the kingdom. And believe me, they're going to be the head of all nations. I believe that uh, implicitly as a Christian. Bible-believing Christian, it, it, it's very plain in Scripture. And so when I hear a story like this, you know, that witnesses 
to my heart. That's great. You know, Isaiah 60 says that the, that the, 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 the goyim, the nations, will carry on their shoulders the Jewish men and women, bring them home to the land, mm -hmm. and that strangers will build the wall, the walls of Israel. Strangers will build the building. Strangers will be part of our life. Messiah is going to show on the Mount of Olives, I believe, in our generation. And he's coming not only for the Jews and the Israelis. He's coming for all people who will receive him in Jerusalem. And so I think we, this is the pre preparation for the coming or the return of the Messiah. Now we have about three or four minutes left. And I want to talk about uh, the latest book that uh, Avi Lipkin has written. It's called Return to Mecca. Uh, there's a lot of dramatic... Uh, a lot of dramatic interplay going on in the Middle East right now. We have uh, everybody against everybody. You can't tell the players without a scorecard. And <laughs> we've tried to get some, make some sense about everything that's going on. And Avi is an expert in Middle East affairs. Uh, this book, by the way, called Return to Mecca, will help you understand where everything is headed. And could you give us just a little thumbnail about, uh, about your latest book and about how it will help us understand what's going on in, in Israel? Yes, today? indeed. The, uh, there's a game played in American camps, summer camps, called Capture the Flag. Yeah. And the Islamic approach is to take Jerusalem away from the Jews and the Christians. Mm -hmm. If they get Jerusalem, then they've captured the flag. They've gotten the holy city of the Jews and the Christians. Now, of course, Jerusalem is not holy to the Muslims. It's not mentioned once in the Quran. Now, my contention in this book is that we will have no choice, the Jewish and Christian forces of Western civilization will have no choice but to take Mecca, Medina, and Mount Sinai, which are all in northwestern Saudi Arabia. And when we do that, we have captured their flag. When we capture their flag, we will prove that Allah is not greater. When they say Allah Akbar, they're mm -hmm. saying Allah is greater. No, our God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is greater than their God. Now, of course, Satan said he was greater than God. So the battle yeah. is over Mecca. That's why it's called Return to Mecca. Now, I have to interject that if you watch the news today, you would come to the conclusion that the, the Islamic forces are in ascent right now. That is, nothing can stop them from achieving what they aim to achieve, including wiping out every last Jew, by the way. And Christian. And Christian. Right. But we know that's not going to happen. Very correct. And one of the uh, things I say also in my book is that this whole Arab Spring is going to bring about the decimation of the Muslim population in the Middle East because the Muslim Brotherhood, which is taking over, will, will destroy the Christians, destroy their economy. Uh, they're going to starve. They're going to flee. They're going to come to America. The Middle East actually uh, will be emptied out of its population except for one country, and that's Israel. The only country where there will be Christians in the Middle East in the coming decade or two will be the state of Israel. It is only the Jewish state of Israel that will bless the Christians. The Christians otherwise are going to be ethnically cleansed. They're going to flee. So what happens is the economies collapse. It becomes a shell. The Middle East becomes an empty shell. And Israel actually will fulfill the borders of Deuteronomy 11, which are in my book, which are Lebanon to the great desert of Saudi Arabia and from the Euphrates to the Mediterranean. Let me just uh, interject and note that this is uh, an August 30th uh, news release from Israel Today magazine, which I just pulled off the internet. And the opening paragraph in this, uh, in this article says, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu on Tuesday stated that Zionism and the rebirth of the Jewish state would not have succeeded without the backing and support of Christian Zionism. Uh, that statement, you know, it just really uh, stands out to me. The fact that the Israeli government would, would understand that and make a statement concerning Christian Zionism. Well, uh, you know, I get into a lot of trouble uh, when I speak in synagogues because I go to Jewish synagogues. I'm a Jew. Uh, but I quote Romans 9 to 11, which say that the Christians who are formerly Gentiles are no longer Gentiles. Gentiles means pagans. Uh, the Christians today are grafted into the tree of Israel. In other words, the Jews are the roots, the Christians are the branches. So. As Netanyahu very correctly said, can a tree live only by roots alone? Can a tree live only by branches alone? In other words, the Jews and the Christians are totally interdependent with each other. Together, we comprise the olive tree. The, the roots cannot take over the branches. Branches cannot take over the roots. We must work together for that tree to prosper. And God created the Christians for that purpose, to be part of Israel. Well, he's Avi Lipkin. He's written the book, Return to Mecca. It's going to give you a great deal of insight into 
the way things are proceeding uh, prophetically in today's Middle East. Uh, you have the 800 number to call on the screen right before you. Uh, 1995 plus shipping and handling is called Return to Mecca. Avi, great having you here today, and we're going to keep you around and talk to you again tomorrow, okay? Very good. Avi Lipkin, it's always encouraging to talk to him, always illuminating. And I'm Gary Stearman, by the way, reminding you, keep looking up. Keep looking up.